Hey, good Monday morning, everybody. Chief Meteorologist Brian Penovich here. Well, after a hot, humid weekend with isolated storms, the next couple of days, we're going to be dealing with a little bit more widespread storms, and these could be a little stronger than what we've seen recently. So there's going to be a low-end risk for some severe weather, but I think flash flooding is going to end up being our biggest issue. So here's the wide view. I always like starting with the wide view, kind of show you the overall picture. You see this frontal boundary, which is up to our north. This frontal boundary is moving really slowly. It's not a really strong front, but anytime you get a front in the summertime that interacts with a really tropical air mass like we currently have over the southeast, that's going to provide the chance for pop-up storms. We always have tons of fuel for storms in the summer. What we always don't have is a trigger or upper level dynamics to allow those storms to be more widespread. That's why you end up with the what I call the popcorn storms. They pop up, they dissipate. That's kind of the typical summer pattern. This is a little more different. These are going to be a little bit more organized, we call it, along this frontal boundary. And you can see we've already got some developing back into Tennessee and Kentucky. So let's start with the severe weather outlook first. Uh, the severe weather outlook today, you can see there is a low end risk to medium risk as you go to the northeast. I'm going to turn the satellite data off up into the northeast and along and just ahead of that front. Also back behind the front in the middle of the country. But you can see anywhere along this frontal boundary, I wouldn't be shocked to see a strong storm or two. Tomorrow, that risk sags a little further south, puts most of the Carolinas uh, into at least a low end risk. So this is for Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, you can see the risk kind of shifts back to the north. And why is that? This front's going to be like snaking up and down, kind of like a hose laying across your yard. When you turn it on and off, it kind of wiggles a little bit. You might think it's a snake, but in this case, it's a hose. It's going to be draped across the middle of the country. So that's the severe weather outlook. But let's look at the risk for flash flooding, because I think the flash flood risk is going to be there as well. We're definitely going to have the potential uh, to see some flash flooding with this system as well. So we'll look at the heavy rain uh, risk. This is the flash flood guidance. So you see the low to medium risk for the mountains um, for today, tomorrow, low to medium. And then we go into Wednesday. There's a moderate risk up here in West Virginia. So you get the idea. This is going to be a pretty soaking rainfall event once these storms get going in the heating of the day. So let's look at the future cast, kind of give you an idea on what this is going to look like as we go into the afternoon hours. All right, so we'll adjust the map a little bit to make this easier to see. We'll start at 11 o'clock this morning. We'll go through time. Um, we'll go into the afternoon hours. I'm going to stop this right around 3 o'clock. Look at the line that's trying to develop back in the mountains and foothills. And this makes sense because you think the heat, the sun's out all day across the Piedmont with uh, some mix of clouds. And these storms are going to form to our west along the front. And then they're going to try to drive to the southeast. What's going to feed them is that inflow of warm, humid air from the south that the Bermuda High is helping pump in here. So there's plenty of fuel for these storms. And because we have a trigger with the front, pretty good chance we're going to see storms. Now, I can't promise you it's going to rain everywhere, but this is much more widespread than the pop-up storms that we see in the afternoon hours. Uh, typically, this is more linear. So that's what I mean by organization. When you see a big cluster of storms, or a line of storms as opposed to just the individual storms. Those are kind of disorganized. This is definitely a much more organized set of rain moving in this evening. So five, six, seven o'clock in the evening moving through. And again, some of these could be severe uh, with damaging straight line winds. And notice they last into the evening hours, pretty far after sunset. And then overnight tonight into tomorrow, we go into the morning hours, gonna have storms developing along the front to our west. We go into tomorrow, it looks like another wave of storms develops on the front and tries to push to the south. So two days in a row that we're likely going to see some pockets of heavy rain move across the area. So that's a pretty good indication that, you know, this is a pretty active pattern that we're going to be in. So let's look at 48 hours of the rapid refresh model. You get the idea. Afternoon, evening storms that are going to be a little bit more widespread than what we've seen recently. So I would expect to see at least the potential that we're going to have some widespread rain in some areas. So let's look at the, you know, basically the how much rain are we talking about? I'm going to turn the guidance off here real quick. We're going to look at the, the weather prediction centers kind of outlook for how much rain we're expecting. So we're going to look at the QPF. So what I'm going to look at is the next five days all together here. So you look at the five day outlook here and we'll kind of interact with this. Some of this rain in here, you know, is in the five to 10 inch range. So this is some potentially some really heavy rain in areas over here. That's why you're seeing the potential for, you know, moderate flooding in the mountains and foothills. So this area looks to be a little heavier, but down to the south could be a little less. Now, if this shifts south or shifts north based on the position of the front, that'll have a big determining factor on just the kind of, uh, you know, the, the kind of uh, rain we're going to get. But just in the next five days, some of these totals up here are in the five, six, seven inch range down here in the Carolinas, you're looking at more one to three in the green to blue. And then in the mountains, some areas, 
three to six inches of rain. So potentially some pretty significant rain over the next couple of days. And of course, we'll keep an eye on it. I'll keep an eye on it over the next few days. But if you do have late day plans, late day evening plans, um, these are the time, it's the time of year where we start to see these storms get a little more active along the cold front. Today and tomorrow will be days that we will have potentially some stronger storms. Of course, I'll have you covered on air, online, on our app. Make sure you download the WCNC app. We'll keep you up to date throughout this entire event.